From the 1960s through the 70s, AI faced many challenges. Progress was slower than expected. Computers lacked the processing power needed for complex AI tasks, and funding often dried up. That period is sometimes referred to as an AI winter, right? Yes. It was a time when expectations weren't met and interest declined. But the research didn't stop. Behind the scenes, work continued, especially in areas like expert systems and symbolic reasoning. And then things changed again in the 1980s and 90s? Correct. We saw the rise of neural networks, a big step forward. These were systems designed to mimic the structure of the human brain. They weren't as powerful as today's models, but they laid the foundation for what came next. Let me guess, the real momentum came in the 2000s? Exactly. Thanks to more data, better algorithms, and stronger computing power, AI research accelerated. Techniques like machine learning and later deep learning allowed systems to learn from examples, not just rules. That is when AI became visible to more people like voice assistants, image recognition, language translation. Suddenly, AI wasn't a lab experiment anymore. And tools like neural networks, natural language processing, and computer vision started showing up in everyday applications. So when did AI become something people could actually use in their work or personal life? I'd say around the 2010s. Open source libraries and cloud-based platforms made AI tools available to developers everywhere. It wasn't just scientists anymore. Designers, educators, marketers. They all began using AI-powered tools to boost productivity and creativity. 